All right, this is going to be a quick unboxing and overview of the Eheim Pro 4 Plus canister filter. This is the newest in their lineup. It replaced the uh, Pro 3. And I'm just going to take everything out of the box here and show you what you get. First up is the PVC hosing. It's black this time around instead of the Eheim green, which I like the black better, I think. Then you have the filter itself. All the media is contained in the trays in there. We'll get to that later. And then you have your intake and outtake pipe and a bag of some connectors and the suction cups for the intake and outtake tubes. And last but not least, you have the completely worthless owner's manual that tells you in no way, shape, or form how to set this filter up. That's my only complaint, but it's pretty self-explanatory. So I'm just going to take everything out of the filter tray by tray and just kind of show you how it's uh, arranged in here. The latches are really nice. Um, they hold the motor down really secure. There's no rattling or creaking or play in them. That is supposedly their pre-filter um, where you can use their extender function to bypass the filter floss in this next tray here to extend the life of your filter. I guess if it's clogged up and your flow is getting restricted and you don't have time to clean it, but I don't know if you do regular maintenance on your filter, I don't know what this would really serve, but I don't know. It's nice to have in emergencies. Um, but yeah, you can see there is one, two, three, four, five trays total. And this one, mine's a 600 series. So you get two of the uh, bottom um, Mech Pro baskets. I believe the other ones just have one. And there you have it. So I'm going to go a little bit more in depth on the individual media itself here. So the uh, canister bottom itself is really nice, really sturdy plastic. As I said before, that blue coarse filter is your pre-filter sponge. It's really nice. I don't think it's going to disintegrate. It should be easy to wash out. And your next tray is the Eheim Substrate Pro. Uh, it looks like really stale Chex or uh, Kick cereal. And your filter floss pad goes over the top. It kind of clamps in there on the tray handles. And it doesn't seem too flimsy of a floss, so it shouldn't disintegrate. Next is your uh, Eheim Chex Mix bag. I'm kidding, that's their uh, Biomech Pro, but um, looks like Chex Mix. It's supposed to trap small dirt particles as well as um, beneficial bacteria growth. These last two are the... Um, Eheim Mech Pro. It's, instead of um, filter pads down there, they've got this kind of, I don't know, it looks like uh, drainage pipe cut up into little pieces. So that's about it for a quick overview of what you get with this filter. I'll have another video later of its setup and kind of some flow rates and stuff like that. One thing I did want to mention here is you'll notice these pictures I've included. Wash your media, guys. Don't skimp on that. You can see how much junk and dust and sand and grit and stuff comes off of these things. Wash your filters, um, the filter pads, before you put it in your aquarium. Um, I This seems self-explanatory, but you can see just how much junk can come off this stuff before you put it in your tank. So thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll get a video up here shortly of it working in the tank.